In this video, we will learn how to plot the deformed shape and change the deformation scale factor so that the displacements are visible. Okay, so let's go ahead, go to job module, and we will check the results. So, I want to check the results of geotextile model. Now, I have already made a tutorial on this model and it will be available somewhere in the description or you can contact via the contact details uh, visible on the screen okay so let's go ahead and check the results highlight the second one and go ahead and check go ahead and click the results now click on this and you will see let's select first displacement okay so now the displacement is here you will see that all the results are there and there is some displacement in upper layer also but it is not visible enough okay it is it is there but it's not visible and the middle layer has deformed a lot and it is visible so how we can change the deformation scale factor so that the small displacement in the upper layer becomes visible okay so that we can present better it's not for uh, we are not going to change the results or analyze something that can change the result we are just going to change the deformation scale factor which will make the displacements more visible on the screen rather than actually changing the values okay you will see now notice that the maximum displacement is 5 mm right here okay so let's change the deformation scale factor uh, if the default options are there the deformation scale factor is visible right here okay and it is one right now you can change it go to this common option icon and click on it and you will see that deformation scale factor is here now the default default option is auto compute and the abacus will auto compute the suitable deformation scale factor and it will show the results and you can change it if you want go ahead and click on uniform what does uniform means? It will the scale the displacements in all directions, okay, by equal amount. If we are going to put the value one, then it will scale the displacement in uh, three directions by a factor of one. If we put ten, then it will deform. It will scale the uh, displacements in all three directions by magnitude of 10 so let's uh, put the number 10 and apply and you will see that the uh, the middle layer is stretched now but note here the magnitude of displacement hasn't changed okay that's what i i was that that's what i was explaining that by changing the deformation scale factor you are not going to change the uh, result itself but it just changes the visual appearance on the screen okay okay now you can uh, go ahead and make it 20 or something apply and look at that okay now let's make it 100 and apply now you will see that upper layer has somewhat you know slided forward in the direction of the uh, middle layer okay so it is it is showing that the, there is a very small displacement on the upper layer but it was not visible earlier with this deformation scale factor one but if you put 100 this is visible okay 